Our High Spot Podcast is here at Boardwalk Beatdown. And, you know, looking across the table, I had to have our next guest on. You had to. She is the bad girl, Penelope Ford. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Good, good. So, listen, we're looking for awkwardness and silliness. So, it, please feel right free here. if that's your thing that you do. Well, so. Jeff does it enough on the show anyway <laughs> to begin with. So, we need a female's perspective on it as well. So... <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> So talk about the atmosphere here, Boardwalk Beat down Atlantic City, New Jersey, of course. Uh, you know, you can tell right now, so many people, so many vendors. We got podcasts, we got the wrestlers here, you and Joey here are signing. Just talk about the whole experience so far here in Atlantic City. Well, there's a lot of people, for sure. I think we're in the, a little bit of a boring corner, though. <laughs> well, I mean, well, we're not making it boring now because yeah. we have Penelope on. Oh, so well, like yeah, <laughs> of course. No, we had, our, we had our rush, but everyone's in that little room for the Young Bucks trying to get in there. Well, yeah, club, you know. and then now Goldberg and, and Sting are here, so obviously that's also going to be. That's why. Yeah, that yeah. is why. That's the only reason. I'm that like, is the only well, reason. what happened? I forgot they just announced them literally like, what, five minutes yeah. ago? That's why. Wow. Sorry. So, no, it's all right. So, I'm like mind blown at the moment, like, oh. So Joey's in a huge match uh, for Stanley Wrestling Breakout. Uh, he will be in the light heavyweight tournament, and you're going to have Casey Navarro, or you're going to have Brandon Kirk, and there's a mystery opponent, too, that, you know, maybe you guys are like, whoa, wait a minute, now, now there's a mystery opponent here. So just your thoughts on the match. Uh, I have no idea who the mystery opponent is. I'm thinking it's this kid in this Slipknot shirt. There you, you go. Might be. <laughs> you never know. No. If a 12 year old but, yeah. can win a tag team championship on, at WrestleMania, there's no doubt this kid in a slip knock shirt <laughs> can actually go. be the mystery no, opponent. Exactly. That's I can't, like, yeah. So you come in here too as signing, but you can't help being a fan, right? And to see just, you know, friends and being able to mingle here, you know, you got to talk about just the state of wrestling and how great it is to be a wrestler and a fan now. Oh, it's amazing. I'm, I'm a huge, like, women's wrestling fan. For sure. Yeah. Like, we have Summer Ray over here, and I'm, like, a little freaking out a little bit. Because, I mean, like, women's wrestling is, like, up and coming, and, like, and she gets to be a part of it, like, on a different level, and then I get to be a part of it. So, but, yeah, and now, like, and being a wrestler and having people that look up to me, yeah. I love when young girls love wrestling. And how did you get involved, though? When did, how, when did you become a fan early age? No. No? No. I wish, but I didn't even know wrestling really existed. I never sat down and watched TV. I, had, I was too hyperactive and never really watched TV unless it was cartoons because I'm immature. I still watch <laughs> cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Um, but a friend loved wrestling her whole life, and then she took me to a CZW show, and she's like, I'm going to talk to the owner and uh, get a tryout. So... Uh, she didn't want to try out alone, so here I am. And, and, and from that, was it more, for example, like I said, you, you didn't grow up watching it in, in terms of being a fan, but when you did try it out, was it like love at first bump, or were you like, whoa, what have I just gotten myself into? Oh, it was love at first bump. I was like... Because a lot of people are like that. Even though they love this, they're like, oh, my first couple bumps, or just my first couple days of training, I didn't know I was going to continue doing this. Though. Yeah. That first bump was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. Like, they tried to do tabletops on me, <laughs> and... Oh, I mean, but once I overcame that, I was like, this, this is so awesome. Like, it was such a stress reliever, and I never thought that I would make it where I am now. I mean, I still have a lot to learn and stuff, I know that, but... Well, that being said, something I've always admired from people that step in the ring, in your case, you're out there, you know, honing your craft as, you know, each match you have, but in terms of character perspective and in terms of your mindset, I always find it interesting that most people say, or from, you know, the legends we've listened to, like, you know, your best persona is yourself with the volume turned up really high. Yep. So, you're so nice and kind right now, but when you're out there, nobody wants to mess with you. So, how much is that, how much of, how much of that is, is you with the volume cranked up really high, or is it more of you just being yourself? I, I think it's just me being myself. I mean, you have to crank it up times 100, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's me. I'm, this is me all the time. I mean, I can be a bad girl, but, you know, I think that comes with all girls. A huge B, you know. And talk about the timing, right? You really weren't planning on this, and now this is, you know, what you and Joey do. 
And then all of a sudden now, the time maybe like 10 years ago, women's wrestling was kind of like, you didn't think you were going to have these doors open for you, right? And now all of a sudden, the time, it's all about timing sometimes. Right now, there's a women's evolution. It, there's a huge demand for women's wrestling. There's also like intergender matches that people want, right? And see, you got hit a spot there. Yeah. Just talk, just talk about it. talk about the time that you're in right now. Like, what what a great time to it's, to be a woman performer. It's amazing. Like I said earlier, like it's just, a, it's amazing to be a part of it. And like when I first got into wrestling, I had no idea. Like after studying stuff, like what women had to go through and what they've come through like you know just yeah. came about and now we head into also so talk about this turnaround right you got boardwalk beat down you've got this convention and then you've got probably the most historic independent Ooh. wrestling event the most weekend ever in all in and of course you know Joey has a matchup with a uh, supposed Hangman. murderer. Well, we don't. Yeah, we don't know. We can't accuse him yet. I although, said a supposed yeah, murderer. Uh, and Hangman Page. I should have done my research. <laughs> what? Oh well, well Hangman Page Someone. has been known as the Joey Killer. He's been accused of only Joey accused Ryan. of killing yes. famous Dick wrestler Joey Ryan. Yeah. So we spoke to Joey oh, about wait, Janella. I read that. Yeah. I did read that. Oh yes. my gosh. Now, I still think it was Stephen Amell that actually did it, not Joey Ryan. But so if if you've seen Hangman Page, he's walking around with no boots, barefoot, no right? No shoes. Yeah, so we already approached him. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, you did. There was a little bit of a. Wow, and how'd that go? You'll see. <laughs> um. So yeah. So talk about all in though. Talk about that weekend. Just, just un like. I, we were talking to Joey on the uh, this week. We were asking him if you're going to realize the history maybe afterwards, or do you already know the historic significance of All In? I have no idea. No? No, you have me completely stomped. I don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, just because, you know, this is going to be a huge wrestling event that the Young Bucks and Cody are, you know, self-financing here. And, you know, to talk about, like, selling out a 10,000-seat arena, something that they're like, oh, only I WWE. I it was 12,000. Well, a 10,000 plus seat arena. And okay. And, and something that they, everyone's saying that, okay, only the WWE can do this. And well, they it, fucking did it. Yeah. Oh, pardon my that's, language. Hey, that's it's fine. fine. No, yeah. go ahead. So, so everyone is no going. No sense right here. Everyone is going to be there. Just talk about are you excited for all of you? I'm, I'm so amped. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, I mean, that's going to be the most people I've ever been in front of yeah. in my life. Yeah, a little nervous. pretty much. Yeah. Are, you, are you nervous <laughs> about that? I don't get nervous. Oh, no. okay. So you, you work your best when you're nervous. Yeah, I'd say <laughs> so. No, I, I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> really? Because you played off so well. I, I, I couldn't tell, honestly. I don't know whether you're, you're, you're working me here. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, something I wanted to ask you. I mean, Jeff was talking about the significance, the historic significance. It's just a great time to be a wrestling fan and a wrestler to hone your craft in front of a, a huge stage of people that are going to be watching you. Uh, no pressure there. But in, in terms of, of your journey here, you know, it's something I've always kind of admired from what you guys, because I think it takes a special time of personality and person to do what you guys do. But at the same time, it can be, you know, a quick, you know, a quick span in terms of your going here, going there. Sometimes you run on fumes. Have you had the ability to enjoy it more in terms of the journey rather than worrying so much about what's the next goal and what's the next destination to go to? I've, I've always enjo enjoyed it. And I've never really, because when I got into it, I never really thought there was anything more than this. So, I mean, right now I'm just, I, I'm going with the flow of everything. Like, Good. Joey and I started off with Dojo Wars, and that's how we met. And we weren't even dating then, and everyone thought we were. And, <laughs> like, now Perce here. Perception's reality, right? Yeah, and then uh, now here we are, and we're something, and it's real. And, I mean,. Do you have those times that you can look back and actually be like, wow, look from where it started to where we are now? Like, yeah, why not, not I'm just you and at Joey, but where you are. And I'm just like, in my head, like, just thinking about how amazing it is. It all started, basically. Like, for example, like, Lost, I'm like in, an awe on him. Like, 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 Lost in New York was amazing. All that I'm so proud of him. All that feedback. And, yeah. you know, he's, he's he wears so many hats, right? He's wearing he's wrestling. Promoter. promoter, book. I mean, I mean that's crazy, you know, to think of like now that wrestlers are doing that stuff. And again, you got great reviews from Lost in New York. I see on social media that people are watching it back on the app and saying, I can't find anything wrong with it. It's so great. It's like all about you know the fans. 
I mean, it's credit to, you, to, to Joey and yourself, too. Uh, well, thanks, but I, I owe it all to him. Like, I mean. She's so humble and modest. <laughs> Give yourself some credit, oh, Penelope, please. Geez, I was just about to, like, say I was great, but. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I. He's just got a crazy imagination. Like, the things that he's come up with, and he, he knows exactly what people want because he grew up loving it. And, I mean, if, I learned so much from him, and we watched so much, like, ECW. Yeah, oh. Yeah, so all of that stuff. Well, Penelope, uh, thank you so much for coming on the High Spot Podcast. Really uh, great to see you. I mean, we saw you across the room. It was like, we had to have her on the show here. And, of course, Joey Janela, huge matchup at All In. Uh, it's going to be Joey Janela versus Hangman Page. One of the, you know, we were talking about main events before. That that could definitely be a main event anywhere. A main event world. or a show stealer, basically. Yeah. I feel it's, it's going to steal the show. I've yeah. said this before on the show. Probably. and I've mentioned it to Adam and... Uh, I haven't mentioned to Joey, but we did it kind of during the interview. This is going to be a, a show stealer, in my opinion. Yeah. For what Joey is going to put himself through to get this victory, uh, I can only imagine what he puts himself through on a day-to-day -day basis. Definitely a victory. And, mm -hmm. and if you go get all in, and you go on Star uh, on Starcast and go on the Fight app and get it, you should get it to see this lovely lady when she walks Joey Janela into the ring, Miss Penelope Ford. Thank you so much for the being on the show. Girl. The bad girl. Penelope Ford. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for having me, guys.